How's it going everybody and welcome to Coffee Ring Tales. This time I want to tell you a story that comes straight from Greece, the story of Hades and Persephone. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let me tell you a story. So the story goes that Hades saw Persephone and he fell in love with her. Wanting to marry her, he wanted to follow custom, so he decided to go to Zeus and ask his permission to marry Persephone. Zeus immediately agreed to his brother's request, but they didn't consult Demeter as he knew that she would not agree to her daughter marrying the Lord of the Dead. So Zeus came up with a cunning plan. So when Persephone went to the plains of Nessa again, he would have Gaia put a specific flower there for Persephone to see, the Narcissus. This is a flower so beautiful that no mortal or immortal can deny its beauty and they will gravitate towards it. So, as Zeus planned, when Persephone was out looking at the flowers, Gaia placed that little flower there for her to see. And as Persephone saw it and reached out with her hands to pick it up, Hades came crashing through the earth on his golden chariot pulled by his immortal horses and he grabbed Persephone and pulled her onto the chariot and rode off. Persephone, obviously in distress, started shouting and screaming for help hoping that her father Zeus would come to her aid, although he turned a blind eye to it. As Hades and Persephone started to go down into the underworld, Demeter finally heard her daughter's screams. She quickly grabbed her cloak, threw it on, and raced towards where she heard her daughter's voice. But when she got there, Persephone was already gone. Demeter immediately started searching for her daughter, and she spent nine days looking for her, asking every bird and every man that she can come across. But nobody knew what happened. On the 10th day, Hecata, the goddess of witchcraft, came to Demeter to tell her that she heard Persephone being kidnapped. She didn't see who it was, but she did hear it happen, and she suggested that they go to Apollo and find out if he hasn't seen anything. Upon reaching Apollo and asking him if he saw anything, he did say that he saw what happened, that he saw Hades coming from the earth and grabbing Persephone, putting her in his chariot and racing off with her. But he also told Demeter not to be too sad about that, as brother to Zeus, firstborn of Kratos, and ruler of the underworld, everybody becomes his subjects at some point, and Persephone will be queen over the massive kingdom. This news from Apollo didn't make Demeter feel any better, so she disguised herself as an old woman and went down to the land of man to grieve. So as Demeter was on earth in the disguise of her old lady, a couple of women found her and started to chat with her, and they decided to show her hospitality and bring her home with them. They were the daughters of the Queen Metanira, and after Metanira spoke to Demeter, decided that she would want her to look after her child. Her son was sickly and they needed somebody to look after him, and Demeter agreed. Now Demeter took the son every evening and decided not to feed him normal food, but to rather anoint him with ambrosia as if he was born from a goddess. She breathed down her sweet breath on him as she held him close to her bosom, and every night she placed him in the fire to burn away his mortality and make him an immortal. As time passed on, Metanira realized that her son was becoming more healthy and more beautiful every day. So one night she decided to sneak in and see what Demeter was doing with her son. And when she saw her son being put into the fire, she shouted out in horror as any mother would. Demeter turned around, slowly put the boy down on the ground and revealed her true form. And in anger she demanded that they build her a temple as an apology for stopping her. And having a goddess literally say that to you in your face, in your house, kind of makes you want to do that really, really quickly. So the temple was built really quickly and Demeter decided to take up residence there. Now all of this has been happening for about a year. And as Demeter is the goddess that's supposed to be looking over the growth of plants, she has not been doing that duty. And the fauna and flora had been steadily declining over that year. It got to such a point that Zeus started to realize that offerings were becoming very, very sparse. And he realized that Demeter wasn't doing her job and hiding out in the temple. Zeus realized he had to do something really quickly before stuff started getting out of hand. So Zeus sent Iris to try and convince Demeter to come back and fulfill her godly duty. But Demeter demanded that she will only come back when Persephone is brought back to her. So Zeus sent another Olympian and another and another until Zeus realized that the only way to bring back Demeter to Olympus to do her godly duty was to get Persephone back. So he called for Hermes and told him to go down to Hades and go and tell them what is happening on earth. Quick as a flash, Hermes descended down to Hades and found both Hades and Persephone sitting on their thrones in the palace. Now Persephone was untouched. 
But she was sad, missing her mother. So Hermes proceeded to tell Hades what was happening on Earth. And Hades agreed that what was happening was not good, and that Persephone should maybe go back to her mother and calm her down. Then Hades told Persephone that she shouldn't be upset, that he will be the best husband that he could be for her, and that anybody who disrespects her will face his wrath. This made Persephone joyful, and she started to get ready to go to her mother. But Hades was unsure. He was not sure that she would return back to him. So he gave her three pomegranate seeds to eat, and she ate one of them. And so she and Hermes got onto Hades' golden chariot, and the immortal horses pulled them with great speed back to Olympus. There, Mother Demeter saw daughter Persephone and embraced each other. And then Persephone told Demeter what happened, how she was kidnapped, how Zeus allowed it, and even helped plan the kidnapping. And now, as you can think, Demeter did not really like Zeus at that point. But then they realized that she ate one of the pomegranates. And because of this, she is now part of the dead. She now has to spend time in the underworld. And seeing that she ate one of the three pomegranate seeds, she will have to spend a third of the year in the underworld with Hades. And the other two thirds she can spend with her mother Demeter. And at that point, Demeter really didn't care. She was just happy to have her daughter back with her. And she quickly brought back the life to the fauna and flora. And so, the very first spring started on the world. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you're interested to read the full hymn, check the description. I'll link it down there. If you liked the video, how about dropping a like and subscribing for more? And if you didn't, how about leaving me a comment and telling me how I can improve? See you next time.